Hey, what's up guys? It is Saints fan and welcome back to another video. So a lot of you guys were asking me on Twitter and in the comment section of some of my watchdog videos if you should buy the game or not. Well, in this video, I'm going to do my best to sort of review it. I mean, it's not going to be like an official uh, IGN review or one of those other major companies that give it like a score out of 10, but I'm just going to let you guys know how I feel after playing it. I mean, I haven't beat it yet, but I am really far into the game, so I do have some experience, and I kind of know what I'm talking about in that regard. Also, this is based off of the Xbox One gameplay. And then finally, if you guys wanting some more GTA, don't worry, another GTA video is going to be coming later today, and I'll get back into it more tomorrow. So, Watch Dogs. This game was hyped up, you know, especially about a year ago. You know, after what we saw at E3 in 2012, everybody thought this game was going to be amazing. You know, the graphics look great. Uh, the hacking was really interesting. And, uh, you know, a lot of people were hyped for it. Honestly, this game does not live up to the hype. I am kind of disappointed in this game. You know, I was expecting it to be, you know, pretty good. I mean, I wasn't expecting it to be like a GTA killer. But I was definitely expecting it to... Uh, hold my interest and hold other people's interests for like, you know, a couple months. And they did not deliver on that. So, what about this game makes it so bad? Well, the first thing, as soon as you get it, is the driving. The driving is terrible. <laughs> like, I don't know how else to say it. I don't know how a game could be in development for five to six years and the driving is this bad. You know, it, it may not be one of the main features of the game that, like, they always talk about, like, here, look, here's hacking, here's this other thing, but you always drive. Like, you have to drive to get places, and free roam, you're always driving. There's even some missions where you have to, you know, uh, you drive people away and stuff. And driving, it, it's terrible. <laughs> like, it, it's so bad. It, like, I really don't even know how to explain it, to be perfectly honest. It's not smooth and fluid like GTA at all. The cars, at least on the Xbox One, it, it almost feels like they're lagging, which makes no sense because it's a single-player game. You know, I hit left in the, the uh, on my stick to go left, and then like a second later, then it goes left. And I don't. Know, and and combined with the camera angles, it it really really um, makes it not enjoyable to drive in this game. And that's that's the first thing which a lot of people. Who have played this game said that's one of the main reasons they don't like it you know despite all the other stuff you're spending about 60 maybe 70 percent of the game just driving around places and if the driving sucks then you're not going to have a good time so that's number one uh number two the shooting is not as good as it could have been i feel um like definitely comparing to gta it's not as good as that it just feels clunky when you're kind of shooting like I don't know, the controls are a little bit weird and like I said that, that's one of the major things like the camera I don't know it was just so weird that the camera it would move to like weird spots and you couldn't see anymore at, at least that's how I felt when I played the game but the shooting wasn't as good as it could be another thing the missions although they do have you know a, a little bit of variety you know, most of them are pretty much go to this place, use your hacking powers, or, you know, use your phone to hack things. I mean, I guess if you wanted to, you could also just go in there with a gun and just kill everybody. But obviously, the game's made around hacking, and I find that more fun. Uh, but, you know, most of the missions are pretty much the same thing. You go here, hack this, get into there, hack this guy, or hack that thing, and it kind of sucks. Because I wish there was more variety to the game. Another thing which kind of, I mean, I, I understand it, but the reputation system, like, in a free world game, I, I don't think that it really works. You know, when I'm driving around, I'm not going to follow the rules of the road, and, you know, if somebody's in my way, I'm just going to go on the sidewalk, and if I kill somebody, like, I'm not intentionally killing them, I don't want to kill them, but I want to get to the place uh, where I got to go as soon as possible, you know, as quickly as possible. And when you kill a civilian by running them over like that, your reputation goes down. And honestly, when I play, like, my reputation's almost at the, like, uh, the farthest left they can go to being bad. And that's mainly just because of me running over people. Like, again, I didn't do it intentionally, but, 
you know, it's hard to be a good guy unless you literally drive slow. And um, now maybe you might think that's a good thing, but for me, I don't really like that aspect. And then another thing, which I don't really want to classify it as a bad, but I don't want to classify it as a good either. It's kind of like in the middle ground. The hacking powers of the game. Like, yeah, they're great. You know, you can hack pretty much anything, but I don't know. It, it almost felt like it was unrealistic. And I get it's a game, whatever. But for me to like hack into a camera and then to hack into another camera, just like from looking at it, I don't know. I mean, it's cool, but it kind of doesn't make sense in my mind. And then, like I said, you know, just hitting X, like I almost wish that they could have made the hacking a little bit harder, maybe, you know, maybe at the beginning, slow, make it easy. But then once the story goes on, make it a little bit harder, you know, instead of just hitting X, maybe I got to hit some like combination buttons. I, you know, I don't know what they could have done, but like everything was just literally, all right, let's hit X, let's hit X, let's hit X, get that, that, that. And I, I felt like they could have uh, done a little bit more with that possibly. Now get into the stuff that's good about the game. So the first thing, the story. I personally love the story. Um, I mean, I haven't finished it yet, so I don't know what happens at the end. But so far, you know, I'm really digging the story. And that's why I'm going to finish the game because I want to find out what happens. So if you are about story. Now, I have read some other views. People said the story wasn't as good. Um, I guess it's personal preference. But me personally, I like the story. And like, like I said before, you know, if you can deal with some of the repetitive missions, then uh, I think the story at least will be good. Another thing, I, I love the fact that like um, pretty much every person in the game is their own unique character. And it, it's always really funny when you're just driving or, or not really driving, but like walking around and you can see like what everybody does. And you know, most of the time they're pretty normal, but then you get that occasional guy or that occasional woman that's like so weird and you just like bust out laughing. That was really fun. Um, another thing that was really cool, driving and hacking like the billboards and stuff and they display like internet memes. That's always cool, you know, definitely uh, adds some humor to the game, and I really appreciated that. Another thing that I like personally, um, and I've read, again, some reviews didn't really like this, but I like the music in the game. The music was pretty cool, and I like the fact that you could uh, listen to music, like, whenever. You didn't even need to be in a car, because you had, like, a media app on your phone. So, um, I wish maybe they implement a feature where, like, they can upload, like, you can upload your custom music. Now, again, I don't know how that's, if that's possible, because copyright... But I really like that, how you can, you can even make like your own playlist, so if you didn't like a song, it could just play the songs you like, that was pretty cool. And then, I think the, the last major thing that I liked was the map. You know, the map was really cool, um, I'll get into graphics in a bit, but the map itself, not including graphics, I think it was a really good job. Uh, it's very dense, there's a lot of stuff you can do, you know, especially with having these people that are like so unique, it definitely makes it feel like such a bigger world. Um, and then you have all the side missions, all like gang attacks, and all this other stuff that you can do if you don't really like the story or you don't want to do the story. So it definitely has a lot of stuff to do. But going back to the driving, because you got to drive to that stuff, that's what just, it just makes it not fun to me. But getting into the graphics, now I've seen it on PC, I've seen it on PS4. I actually downloaded it on PC. I haven't yet to play it because when I tried to play it last night, the servers were down, of course. But I've been playing on Xbox One, and I'll admit, graphics are not as good as I thought they would be. You know, I wasn't expecting the E3 2012 graphics because I know that those graphics were on a super high-end PC, uh, you know, with all the bells and whistles that you can get, right? But I was expecting a little bit more. Like, there's just a couple things in the game that just doesn't... Like, I've I seen this one video, and I may link it in the description... And, like, it just shows, like, the, the, the weird stuff that happens in Watch Dogs. But some of that weird stuff, like, it shouldn't happen. Um, for example, one thing, like, when you shoot into water, there's no effect that, like, splashes water when the bullets hit. Um, and, I mean, that's just a small thing. But, like, you would think a game this size on next gen would have something like that. And another thing, on the PC, you know, get into that aspect... The, the PC almost seems like it was just like PS4 ported because from what I've been told from some friends who have the game, like even on Ultra, and you can go look on YouTube if you search up, you know, Ultra PC gameplay, the graphics don't look that great. Like they should be a lot better. I was expecting at least when I put the game on Ultra with, you know, every other setting all the way up, 
it would look like that E3 2012 demo. And, you know, unless they make a patch or something where we're, we can do that, then right now you can't. So that was definitely a major downside because I was really hoping, you know, that's why I got it on PC. Because I was like, you know what? I get Xbox One, whatever, PS4. They may be a little bit down because console, whatever. But I was expecting PC to be really top notch. And right now it's not. Also, one quick thing I forgot to mention, you know, a lot of the side missions, and not even side missions, but like the side mini games were really fun. You know, I really enjoyed playing uh, poker. Uh, there was a bunch of, I think there was like slots and stuff. Uh, the mini games, the digital trips are pretty cool. Now, they are a little bit repetitive. The first time I played them, I haven't dug too deep into them, so like I haven't got bored by them. But when I did play them the first time, I was pretty uh, intrigued by them. So that's definitely a plus. And then one thing I forgot to mention, the multiplayer. The multiplayer, no, I haven't played too much of it, but but if you are going to compare it to another multiplayer like GTA, it is nowhere near as fun. And I'm saying that with having gone through all the stuff in GTA, all the problems it has, and even now that GTA is boring, like, uh, there, there's not too much stuff to do. And because the driving, and it goes back to the driving, because the driving is so bad, like, just free roam online is not really fun. Now, like you saw on the gameplay, there is a really unique aspect where people can come into your game and, like, try to hack you. And, you know, that's really awesome. I enjoy that. I enjoy trying to hack other people. You know, it definitely adds some uh, some interesting gameplay. But besides that, you know, there's the racing, which, yeah, okay, the driving's terrible, so why would you want to race? Uh, you know, there's some other like team deathmatch game modes, but nobody really buys an open world game to play a team deathmatch. So basically what it comes down to with the multiplayer, unless you like driving, the only game mode that will probably be of uh, interest to you is the one where you can like go into other people's games and hack them or uh, they can come into yours and hack you. But what it comes down to, should you buy this game? Honestly, I would say no. Unless you have 60 bucks just laying around and you're not going to do anything with it, then I would say no. Just because, like, the game, it has a lot of problems. And, you know, maybe they might be fixed, maybe they won't. You know, I just think that if you want to play right now, go run it. I don't know how you can run it nowadays because I don't really do that stuff anymore. But if you want to play it now, go run it. If not, wait you know, a couple months till it comes out for maybe like $20, $25, $30, something like that, uh, and then buy it then if you want to play it, but I would definitely suggest not to buy it now, just because, like, unless you are a really big guy on story and you'll push past all this other stuff, then I don't think you're going to have a good time, and I think you're going to be disappointed in your purchase, so that's just me. Um, if you have any thoughts, let me know in the comment section. If you disagree with me, that's fine. You know, this is purely my opinion. And I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. You know, a lot of I was watching a lot of the other reviews, and they're like, "Yeah, you know, there's so many great things to do." Blah 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 blah. This game's great. Nine out of ten. It's like, okay, come on. Like, you clearly didn't play the same game I played, because uh, it's definitely not a nine out of ten. So I know this has been a long video, but hope I helped you guys out and decided on whether or not you want to buy it. And also, like I said, I'm getting back into GTA uh, with a video later tonight, and then we'll get into the swing of things. Uh, tomorrow and and whenever you know oh and one last thing before I end this video I will not be continuing my let's play just because uh, you know it's not worth it for me to be honest the amount of time that I have to spend editing and rendering I just don't see I just don't find that it's worth it so anyway hope you guys enjoyed like the video share it subscribe all that stuff and as always to our Saints Venom out. Peace.